In this clip, we'll look at what some students may encounter as far as taking a district interim assessment and being prompted for both a session and student ID. So in this case, I'm acting as a student and I go to take my district test. When I click on it, it should automatically open. But in this example, we have where it's asking me for a test ID. If this is the case, please let us know but this video should be able to provide you with a workaround to be able to successfully administer the test for these students. Again, we do suggest that you send us an email to notify us so that we may be aware of the situation, but just so that you know, here's the workaround to, to address this. And that is, I'm gonna go to our teacher account. From your teacher account, I'm gonna find the assignment that correlates. In this case, it's the math test. And when I click on it, the screen is gonna pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. What I wanna make sure we understand is how to locate the student ID. This is the student ID. It's those digits right next to the individual's name. So that is the student ID. Again, you can find this from either clicking on the assessment itself, or you could also click on the tracker. So if I were to go in, click on my tracker from the course navigation, again, those are those digits that are located directly next to the individual's name, either in your tracker or on the assessment itself. Now I'm gonna go back over to the assessment. So when you click on from the assignment, you could give this option that says assess. And this could also be accomplished from inside of your tracker. When I click on this assess button, a screen pops up. This is the test ID. Now again, should you have to enter a test ID and the student ID for most assessments from Canvas? The answer is no. But in rare cases, this is the workaround you can provide. You would provide students with both the test ID as well as the session ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back over to my student account and it says enter a test ID. I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. Then it prompts me for the student ID. I'm going to go ahead and go back and locate that as I mentioned to you. That is available from either inside of your tracker or inside of the assessment itself. Let's go back. Locate your student. Now that I've grabbed the student ID, I'm gonna go back and enter that here. Now, if I was giving this to a student, most likely I'd provide it on either a slip of paper or somewhere for them to access. I'll click next. Now, after having entered both the test ID as well as the student ID, a student is able to take the test as a normal person would from inside of the Canvas course. Again, this is a unique situation. This is purely a workaround. Hopefully this helps you to address those issues. If you have any questions, let us know.